Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend Zelda Ocarina of Time. So now, it's time to walk again over to Kakariko. Because on the map, we actually have an option now, kind of, to go to either Kakariko Village, because that's where the icon is flashing, or over to the Gerudo Valley area. But I, 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 I prefer going to Kakariko first. Also, I guess I could just teleport to the Temple of Time and then walk from there, and that'd be a lot faster. Get back, Link. Looks like you're coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of, K uh, of Kakariko village, had sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Link, Impa is one of the six sages to destroy the evil Shadow Spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the, sh to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. You have learned the Nocturne of Shadow. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Link. Now, before we do anything else, let's go into the well. All the way down. We can see this thing here. Just, you know a weird indent into the well. Ah, uh, but now, let's go back in time. 
And let's return to Kakariko using the Nocturne of Shadow that we just learned. Yes, I want to walk to the graveyard. I love how the color of the things is purple now. Just all the colors give them to me. Anyway, I think, if I'm not wrong, we can actually go over this now. Back into the graveyard area. Which means we can actually go to Kakarika from here, which is going to be quite helpful for getting around faster. So, let's go this way. And now, let's go over to the well. Let's look at that for a quick second. Dark, narrow, scary. Well of three features. Is that, is that, okay. Well, anyway, we can see that there's water in the well, so we can't actually go that far down it. And look at all that there. But, let's go over to the windmill hut. Because the guy there in the future said that seven years ago, a kid played the Song of Storms there and ruined the windmill. So let's do that. Hang on. Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going way too fast. And the music sounds slightly crazier, which I love this. Dude, this is just so cool to me. But anyway, let's head on out. And now, the well is drained. Let's jump in. Which we can only do this as Child Link as well, so. Because now this is open here. Bottom of the well. Let's head on in. Now there's a lot of optional stuff down here. But I, I, I want to do all the optional stuff because it's going to be helpful to me. Well, we also went through... Well, well, well I think I'm crazy. Anyway, let's take out this... Uh, what's it called? Skulltula here. It's been a while since we've last been a child link and had to do something. But I, I like that it brings us back to this. Also, hello. Dead end. <laughs> Literally. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they're saying. Because we can actually walk through this wall. And oh my goodness. Just, this is really cool. But now we're in inside of the well and we, we can go through some of the walls because some of the walls are just fake. Just outright. But anyway. We can also blow up a few things and get a few optional chests while we're down here. The randomizers have just ruined me. Bomb chew. That's interesting that you can just find that there. Also, the bomb chew shop and the bo bomb chew bowling. And just a few other things are only available as child link as well, so. Let's go through this wall here. Careful not to go into the middle because there's a hole there. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Oh, great. There are things here. Wall, wall masters? Wall masters. Anyway, we can also go through this wall here because if we go try to go through that little entrance way there, we'll fall down. We'll have to fall down at some point because there's actually stuff down there, I believe. But first I want to open up this chest here and get... The compass. Not the map, but that's a good start, I guess. We can see all the treasure chests in here. 
Which is good because it means we can see where there's fake walls. But I know where all the stuff is anyway, so. Go into this m m small room here, get a small key. We're gonna need a couple of those. Over this way, around this corner. There's also a few uh, green fire bubbles just floating around. That we probably want to avoid in the middle or outer layer of the rooms. Another small key. It's very nice of the game to give that to me. Go through the wall here, please. Thank you. And I think this chest here is just free to me. Well, so apparently I can just stun this big sculptor. And that makes it a lot easier to take that out, just like that. Or, or I could just blow it up, you know. Stuff that would also be fast. Deku nuts. I just used a Deku nut to get in here, so that's kind of silly. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's be careful. And go over this way. What is this? Well, there's the royal crest of the family. Of Hyrule. But also... The water flowing out of this statue is flooding the entire floor. Let's get out the ocarina. Play Zelda's Lullaby. Lowers the water level. So we can actually walk around here and not be in the water, but you know. Um, oh my goodness. This wall, it says something here. Danger below! That's what it says. Also, hello. Just gonna ignore you and go this way. Because at the front of the area now, that we've drained the water, we can actually do something there. Also, I'm gonna want, uh, Deku sticks, probably. I don't... Th actually, I wonder if the boomerang can take out sculpt uh, big sculptors. I want to find out. Anyway, let's jump down here now. At the entrance of this area. There's another small chest here with some bombs. A lot of stuff that we don't really need. Anyway, we can also go through this hole here. Just like that. Now, if I can look forward, there's a sculptor thing here. Oh, we can actually stun that with the boomerang. That's interesting. Take that out. Well, let's climb up here. Now, if we go in here... ...and get grabbed by one of these hands... ...we are met by this monster that spawns in. Dead hand! Watch out for its infinite head hands. <laughs> Aim for its head. We need to be careful here. But we can also do a little bit of damage using sticks, which is good. I don't think there's much else that we can really do. And we need to stand back whenever it starts walking away. Except I'm pretty sure that if you know what you're doing, you can actually get it. While it's doing that. Ah, move, 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 move. Okay, because we need to get grabbed by hand to get it back here. Ah, please. Can I actually hit you? Nice. Nice. No, not that one. Yep. Maybe... I don't think that's actually doing damage. That's okay. Ow. Need to get grabbed again. I wish I could break out of these hands faster than this. You can also take out the hands. But it does take a little bit of extra effort. That I'm just gonna leave for now. Please hit him. Please hit him. Oh, really? Wish I could take you out right now. Oh, move, 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 move. Oh, move. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Oh, please. Oh, my goodness. Don't grab me again. Where is he? There. He had a fair way to walk, so. Okay. Let's take you out. There we go. Oh my goodness, hello chest. Okay, well, let's open this up.
and get the lens of truth. Set it to C and press C to look through it. Mysterious things are hidden everywhere. Be sure to u try to use it outside of, uh, of the wall. Well, seeing the truth will cost magic power, so press C again to stop using it. So, the lens of truth is quite an interesting item. Whenever we have it equipped, we can actually see things that are invisible. And anything that is uh, like a fake wall that you can walk through will become see-through. In the middle, at least. Anyway, there's a huge rupee in here that you can grab if you really need. But who would need that when we can just grind rupees off of Skulkid, basically. Uh, but anyway, now that we have this, we can actually go take a look at the rest of the place. We can actually do everything else before getting the Lens of Truth in here. But the Lens of Truth is going to be helpful for seeing everything that we need to take care of elsewhere as well. So we can dodge holes and all that. Okay, well, 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 uh, I think I want to go this way to start off. Yes, I want to go back to the back wall over here. I think I'm going to need bombs as well, so let's get those out. Ah, don't hit me. It's fine. It's so fine, especially because there's a hole, not, not too close, but anyway, just to be careful of that there. But anyway, I also believe this is probably just a wall that I just... No, no, it wasn't a wall. Anyway, let's grab this chest right here. Okay, that's a Deku Nut. Um, I could fall down one of the holes to see if there's anything too important down there. Ow. What do you have to say here? This wall, it says something here. Danger above! That's what it says. Okay, thanks for the tip. Works for me. Okay, now... I'm gonna grab those hearts because I got hit by a few things. That's okay. That's not what I was trying to press. I was trying to press the boomerang. Let's go down here. Okay. So chest down here, probably with a blue rupee. Nope, recovery heart. Cool. Health. I'm healthy. Anyway, let's keep going this way. And now we have a kind of new enemy. Kind of. This is kind of like a um. A redid, but it's a Gibdo. Its gaze will paralyze you. If it bites you, tap any button to escape. So basically, we just need to ignore it, basically. We can also use Din's fire as we could on uh, redeads. But, you know, it's 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 basically just a reskin redead, effectively. You can also light up all these torches in here, which is going to open up these coffins. Some of them have Gibdos in them, though. And some of them have keys. It's a good thing that the keys weren't lit on fire, though. But I'm sure they could light themselves on fire if they were clever enough to fly through the torches, so... I don't think one Din's fire can take out a Gibdo by itself. You need to do a little bit more than that. But anyway, the only chest that you... Uh, bad. Bad things. The only coffin that you really need to open is this back one up here because there's a, uh... There's a key inside of it, so let's grab that. And this place is turning into a, a, the danger zone very quickly. Now, is there anything else here? I think that's something else that I'm thinking of. Anyway, let's get out of here before any more craziness occurs. So what we really need to do is get the first, is, is first, before we do anything else, is make sure we get all three keys. We can probably don't, don't have to worry that much about the keys, but that key there in that room isn't marked in the map, so it's easy to miss. But now, I want to go into the main area here, if I can find where this room is. There it is. Uh, we can also see the holes that I've been trying to avoid th throughout this whole thing, so... But let's go into this room here. Now, I'm pretty sure... You now I'm thinking about something else again. It's fine. Anyway. Also, hello, Pots. 
giving me rupees. But anyway, let's get this gold sculptor here. Since that's what's behind the first locked door. Grab that. Thank you. Now, the second locked door over this way. We are met by a pit here. Oh, hello. I wasn't trying to use Dinsify. This is a bad idea. No, don't do this. No, bad, bad. That's really bad. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I just set them all on fire. Accidentally. It's fine. It's so fine. Just need to take them out, please. Please, please, please. There we go. Anyway, if you use the Lens of Truth, we can see that there's a platform off the edge of this wall, so... Which allows us to get a another sculptor behind another key door. Another locked door. Let's grab that. No, that's the wrong thing. A C-stick was a mistake. Anyway, let's grab that. Thank you. And I think I actually will fall into the pit now, because I think there's something down here that I need to grab. Probably. There's a lot of pots here. Ah, uh, that's that way. I think there's a couple of sticks in these pots if we break them. Uh, over here is a spot where you can play a song to get a uh, fairy spirit thing. Now, I don't know what song it is, though. And I'm willing to bet that it's actually going to be the sun song. Possibly. Yes, it is. It's interesting that they have these around. Also, you can also freeze the Gibdos with the um, Sun Song as well. Anyway, let's keep looking around here because I think there's still something I'm missing, which is probably behind these bomb seat boulders here that I need to bomb. So let's do that. You can also fall down the pit somewhere inside of here somewhere, so... Ah, uh, but over here somewhere? No, nothing? Okay. It's probably the last path, of course. That would make sense. Also, hang on, let me check something. Yeah, the bullet bag is set to there now. Cool. We can still use the golden scale as child link as well. Let's blow this up. I knew they would miss. I knew it would miss. Anyway, let's take out this redead. Please. Which also ha have the face of the spooky mask as well. But anyway, here's the big chest I've been missing for forever, basically. Should have done this pro probably earlier than this, but anyway. This is, of course, the dungeon map. We've almost finished this place, though. So it's not really that worth looking at, but anyway, there's no boss in this dungeon because this isn't actually technically a dungeon. This is just getting the lens of truth so we can do other things. I don't think there's anything behind that other door over there. Or the other rocks over there. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, also I love the blue fire. Blue fire, except it's not the same blue fire as the other stuff. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that there's another silver rupee up here. That we need to get. The silver rupees don't give you anything, but they do allow you to escape from this hole, so. Because that's the only way that this door will, door will open. There we go. And this takes us up here. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they are saying. Well, we already found that, so that's good. Can I put that there so I don't use Din's fire again? But anyway, this actually just links back to where we started, basically. Which means we can go get that last tree chest on the map. So let's go get that. Since we've done everything else, so... We can see it through here, where there's a like-like. And you ha can take make the like-like pull you in. 
if you want to do that, but I, I'm just going to go around the normal way, normal way. Because if we go through here, we meet our third locked door. Third and final. Now, there is a bunch of holes in this room that I'm probably going to want to avoid. Let's do that and grab this tray chest. Blue rupee, okay. Nice. Now, I believe... I don't know how to align myself with everything. Oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. Basically. It also might might be worth using Furrow's Wind if you fall, so get, get, get back up quickly, but anyway. Enough of that. I was trying to go across that the way you do in randomizers. But I just did a really bad job of it because of weird controls. That I'm still not used to, apparently. Don't have to get the silver rupees again after you've fallen down once and collected them. Okay, so back in here... I want to avoid the pits, not go through them. And just go... Oh, careful. To over here. There's a very small path through there, so... Anyway, now that we're in here, we want to not get absorbed by this... Uh, like like if we can. Avoid that. Use the boomerang to stun it. Please, thank you. There's also... Hang on, I need to stop using magic with the... Lens of Truth. But there's another Sculptor here. So behind each of the three keys is a Gold Sculptor. So we need to grab all those. And that should be everything in here. And probably the fastest way out is either Furrow's Wind or Save and Reset out of here. I found myself resetting, saving and resetting out of a lot of things in this playthrough for some reason. But anyway, that's everything in the bottom of the well. So now, we're not quite done with everything else we want to do at the moment. Because we have the Lens of Truth now, so... Might as well use it. So, let's head back to Castletown. Okay, so, back in Castletown, there's one thing we haven't done yet. That we could have done ages ago, but it's easy, a lot easier to do with the Lens of Truth. So, we need to go into this room, which is, uh... Temporarily closed, open tonight. So we need to reload the area and turn it to nighttime. Effectively. Let's just do that. And... That. There we go, and now we can go into here. The treasure box shop. Open the chest and surprise! If you find a key inside, you'll be able to advance. Left or right, try your luck. Ten rupees to play, do you want to try it? Yes I do. So, we got a, a door key as a child link, which is strange. I guess we just did that in the well though, so it's not that weird. But anyway, we need to use these keys to go from room to room. And it's a coin flip every single time to get through. So, but if you have the Lens of Truth, you can always pick the chest that has the uh, the key inside of it. So you can keep going. So we need to keep doing that all the way through. It's cheating, but it's a lot faster to do this than random chance, basically. Since it's a continuous string of coin flips, it's going to take a lot of luck to get through. And probably a lot of tries, but you could just get lucky and get it first try. If they all could be left, they could all be right, or they could be alternating. Just, it, it's completely random, so. But I much prefer cheating, so, with the Lens of Truth. I mean, if you can get the Lens of Truth to do this, it's intended for you to do, be able to do this, so. I don't know, I don't even think that you can use the Lens of Truth to see through any other chests in the game, so. These chests are special, like that. But once we get to the end, also the colour of the room is the colour of the rupee you'll get from the other chest. But once we get to the last room, the gold room I guess. It's not a gold rupee, 
It's actually a piece of heart. Kind of ruins the suspense of the opening the trophy chest, but you know. It's still cool that you can see into the chest and see the piece of heart, so. But there we go. Winner! You got a piece of heart. You've com you've completed another heart container. Your maximum life and energy has increased. Oh my goodness, we have so many things now. So many things now. We have so many things now. It's just that crazy that I have to say it several times over. Anyway. Let's head out again, which takes a little bit of time because I have to walk through all these rooms again. I do like the design of these rooms, though. It's so simple, but it means so much. Also, there's so much... So many trophy chests over there. Anyway. Now that that's all done, let's return to the future now. Okay, back in Hyrule Field. Let's call a Pona. Now let's go somewhere where we shouldn't... We don't really need to go, but I want to do it anyway, so... Here she comes. Also, I might want to equip the fire arrow before I accidentally use that. We could also have done this earlier as well, so... Just, just because it's optional. Anyway, let's head to Lon Lon Ranch. Listen. Have you ever played the Nocturne of Shadow that Sheik taught you? Wow. <laughs> That's all the help I got, I guess. Nothing else. Anyway, let's head in. Okay. Hello, Ingo. You're looking pleased with yourself. Hi there. How are you? I'm Ingo. I feel so honored to be allowed to work here. Uh, okay. He's had a change of heart. Apparently. But actually, he has, because... After you probably... After you get a poner and, uh... Possibly... Wake up, Talon. The ranch has returned to Talon's ownership, and Malin is here again. Thank you very much for the other day. I haven't even asked your name, your uh, you your name yet. Really, Link? That's what I thought. You're the fairy boy from the forest. That was years ago. Do you remember me? You do. I was sure it was you because Apona remembered you. Oh, I have to tell you about Mr. Ingo. He was afraid that the evil king might find out that Epona had been taken away. It really upset him. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being a normal, nice person. Now my dad is coming back. I can't believe it. But peace is returning to this ranch. It's all because of you. I owe you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Link. So now we can ride the horses for free again, but we've already got Epona, so it doesn't really matter that much. Epona looks great. It looks like you were able to tame her too. How about uh, trying your skill with Epona on an obst obstacle course? I'll time you for two laps. It's pretty challenging. If you miss jumping a fence in the proper order, you'll fail. How about it? You want to try? Let's go! The current record is 50 seconds. First, uh, try to beat this record. If you can beat the record, I'll give you a present. Give it your best shot, okay? Alright, let's get started. So this is an optional minigame that you can actually do. And I want to see if I can win this, because I want the reward, kind of. It's not that great of a reward, but it's still cool that this exists, so... We need to make sure we have plenty of stamina to jump over all these. Thank you. And we can't go out of order, otherwise we'll fail, so we need to be extra careful about that. Oh, we're slightly behind. One more lap. Judging by the fact that we were at 25 seconds when we passed the starting line again, we must be behind by a little bit. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm still making these jumps work somehow. Jump over, please! No, it's over, it's so over now, I'm not gonna win. Ah, uh, might as well go out of- I don't know where I'm going now. That was so close though to winning. If I had made that last jump, I should have- I should have used the last carrot. And I would have had it. Anyway. Well, that was a practice run. That was a practice run. This is- this is the real thing. Wow, great! Your time was 50, 57 seconds. You and Epona are a great team. How about trying your skills with Epona on an obstacle course? Okay, let's go again. Let's get going. Take two. Jump. Thank you. This is an interesting mini game. Thank you for making that jump this time. I need to get this all back though. That was one lap. Please. I can't activate the thing when I'm you're talking to me apparently. Oh turn. Jump. Thank you. Jump. Okay. One. Two. Please jump. Oh my goodness. I'm going around. You can't stop me. Well, you can because you'll just do. You just disqualify me, so. You failed. You have to jump over all the fences. Thanks for the update. Ah. <sighs> Yes, I want to go again. It just you need Pona needs to jump over the last thing. Maybe I should swing out more to the left and then try to jump over it like that. Or something. Luckily the smaller fences are somewhat easier to deal with. But the taller ones you actually need to use carrots on. I think they're carrots. What if they're not carrots? <laughs> I don't know, they're, I'm pretty sure they're carrots. Not party poppers. I'm slight behind by a second. Also, I don't think you need to use your dash to get over the small fences, but I'm doing it anyway because I need to go fast. Thank you. Thank you. Please be enough. I think it's enough. I think we're good. Somehow made a lot of extra time in that second lap. 48 seconds. That's pretty good. You did it! 48 seconds is the new course record. I have to give you a present to commemorate your new record. The present is a little too heavy to give to you here, so I'll have it delivered to your house. Bet you can't wait to see it, hee hee hee. Well, I guess you're right, because I'm gonna have to go to Kaku- no, the Kakiri Forest. Again, so... Off we go. I just think it's cool that if you come back here, the ranch is actually... ...returned to... ...what it once was, I guess. And that's really cool. So... Anyway... Off we go again. It's a good thing we have a opponent. I could use the warp songs, but I don't think it's going to be worth it to go to Kukiri Forest. I'll have to go through all of the Lost Woods, basically. Have to deal with that one... Moblin. Moblin? Is it a Moblin? Am I crazy? I don't know. <laughs> but it would be a lot of work to just walk past it and then... just deal with the second one after that. Also, once we've... Defeated the, um... Well, once we've done the forest temple, apparently this place is all peaceful again, so... I didn't really notice that when I came through here before, apparently. I think it might have been nighttime. But anyway, let's go up into Link's house. 
Because in here now is a cow. This is our reward for all this. We get a cow. So we can get milk whenever we want now, but we don't really need to, so. Anyway, let's do the Nocturne of Shadow, if I can remember it. Okay, here we are. Now, we're gonna need Din's fire. Uh, might need the long shot eventually, but I don't know what else to switch in at the moment. But anyway, let's go down here. We can see the symbol of the fire medallion here. So, let's stand up here and use Din's fire. And the Sheikah sh symbol, eye symbol, on the door goes up. It's pretty cool. But anyway, we've made it to the Shadow Temple. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.